Hey guys, what's going on? Stefan Sires of SC Reports. Great to see you guys here. So guys, let's talk. This is a bit of CFL and NFL news. Now, as most of you guys know, Greg Hardy, former Pro Bowl defensive end, has a little bit of issue with domestic violence back in 2014. He tried to sign with Saskatchewan Rough Riders as of late, but the CFL actually blocked him from signing with the Rough Riders. Now, when they, was at, when they were asked specifically about Greg Hardy, they said no comment. Now, Greg Hardy isn't the only domestic violence person they've blocked in the past. They also had blocked Ray Rice. But those charges on Ray Rice were dropped. But Greg Hardy was actually not only charged, but found guilty of domestic violence to his former girlfriend. There was reports that he had thrown her into a bathtub, choked her, and threw her on a bed full of assault rifles. Now, obviously that's huge. And in terms of the conduct in the CFL towards domestic violence, this is what they have written down. With any player with a history of violence or any player who has faced allegations of violence, we would look to the team to assess the player, not just on his football skills, but on what he brings to the team, including assessing how he has moved forward since the violence or allegation of violence. We have experts in the field willing to help in this regard. Simply having a past would not eliminate a player from the CFL. However, if an assessment revealed or concluded that his behavior or attitudes had not changed and those pose a risk of future violence, then the league would expect teams to treat that as a very serious concern. The policies put an emphasis on awareness, training, and prevention, as well as ensuring those hurt by violence and abuse get help. While it contemplates potential penalties up to and including a lifetime ban for repeat offenders, it is really focused on working to prevent violence and working to help ensure it stop if it has occurred. Now most of you know he did finish the season with the Dallas Cowboys last year, 12 games, six sacks, a few tackles, um, but obviously this domestic violence thing is weighing heavy on the CFL and they don't want to add somebody like, you know, Greg, Greg Hardy and see this happen again on their, on their turf on, in Canada and that would be held on the CFL's head, not the NFL's. Now, there's a really weird because a guy named Justin Cox, who I don't, I'm not familiar with, so... Uh, I can't really speak a whole bunch of on him. He's actually found, you know, that he had not only has charged with domestic violence, he'd also broke into his girlfriend's house as well. So he was allowed to sign with the CFL team, but Greg Hardy and Ray Rice were not. So I'm not sure why or how that case was different. Maybe one of you guys who watch a little bit more CFL or who knows Justin Cox a little bit better, you know, please message me and explain it to me. But yeah, Greg Hardy is not going to be with the uh, with the Saskatchewan Rough Riders as of right now. He's on a list. So guys, that's my report on Greg Hardy. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, leave a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.